Once you heard all these foolishness concerns, some of which you might have believed, some of which you didn't, your job at that point in time was to go to the boss. Isn't that right? I, I had tried to go to the boss. Is it because you wanted to be the attorney general? Is that what was going on? Paxton attorney Tony Busby doing what defense lawyers do, that is, challenge the motives of prosecution witnesses. And while the efficacy of that effort thus far remains in question, we do know trial watchers were given a bushel basket of testimony which could prove pivotal. I found this statement by former Deputy Attorney General Ryan Vassar particularly compelling. He felt that Mr. Paul was being railroaded by the FBI and by DPS. And General Paxton said that he didn't trust law enforcement. Uh, he asked us to find a way to release the information that had been requested to be withheld. The significance, Paxton ordered the public release of a confidential case file containing the names and personal information of FBI and DPS agents investigating Nate Paul in contravention of the law enforcement exception to open records request panel. Question, is that obstruction of, fe of a federal investigation? What does it sound like to you, Sue? It does, but <laughs> let, let me say the worst, the worst enemy to Paxton right now is Paxton. I mean, first of all, look, he doesn't show up at all to the trial and sit there. In his own voice, he doesn't plead not guilty. But the woman that he betrayed, that, that he took a vow to, she has to sit there every single day and listen to all of the things that her husband did while he gets to go off and get a massage or do something else. It, he should be convicted on that, that alone. You know, and, and whatever Nate Paul has on him, it must be something really good. All right, Chris Tritico, the law enforcement exception. I mean, was this extraordinary to release this, this, this amount of information? Not only that, there's hundreds, literally hundreds of attorney general opinions that he signed to government saying you can't release this because of the law enforcement exception that he's been signing since he's been attorney general. And for one person, he said, give this out and forget the law enforcement exception. And so he, in the face of all of these other opinions, he said, give this out. And so that's what I think the Justice Department is gonna be looking at at the end of this trial. And if you look at his attorney general opinions, nowhere else has he said there is an exception to the law enforcement exception, except for Nate Paul. Bill, is this the strongest allegation you yeah, think? So we, we're calling it an exception. This is a mandatory exception. It says you cannot release this. There's permissible exceptions under the Open Records Act, which, you know, the government can decide whether they want to release it or not. But this is a mandatory, this is confidential information that you cannot release. And so this was a violation of Texas law. And the obvious only reason to do that would be to help Nate Paul avoid prosecution at the federal level. That sounds like to me a pretty clear case of obstruction of justice, which is exactly what. Texas Ranger David Maxwell said on the stand. By the way, if you haven't watched his testimony, that is the most crucial part of this case. And the fact that he treated this storied Hall of Fame Texas Ranger the way he did, I would vote to impeach him on that if nothing else. Bob, I was talking to a federal agent yesterday and I was relaying this stuff and he said, you gotta be kidding me, he did that. I mean, do you think that will be the unanimous reaction from most folks in law enforcement? I, I certainly think that that's the case. And when, when you look at, at the, one of the things that I thought on the opening day was the vote on the pretrial motions to dismiss these charges. You know, people including former Governor Rick Perry came out and said the people need to see this testimony. They need to see the facts of this case. And the senators voted by a, a two-thirds majority, which is what is required for conviction, uh, on almost all of, but one of these counts to carry those on. Look at these witnesses and, and what they gave up from their lives to come out on their personal beliefs of what they, what they witnessed happening in, in the Attorney General's 